The sixth trading week of 2013 comes to a close with gas prices being pushed to a yearly high as winter storm Nemo finds the Northeast, threatening the region with record snowfall and power outages. I'm Kristen Bianco and welcome to the Weekly Market Wrap for Friday, February 8th, 2013. The Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 were lower for the week, while the Nasdaq was higher. Crude oil futures are lower this week, trading at around $95.70 per barrel on Friday afternoon. Gold futures are a little change, trading at $1,666.41 an ounce this afternoon. In notable economic news this week, the Labor Department announced that first-time jobless benefits claims fell by 5,000 to 366,000 this past week. The four-week rolling average fell 2,250 to 350,500. And in corporate news, Oracle announced it will purchase networking equipment vendor Acme Packet for 2.1 billion or 1.7 billion net of cash. The purchase price represents a premium of 22% to the stock's closing price on Friday. Oracle believes the merger will accelerate a migration to all IP networks and will allow the software company to provide customers with a broader range of services. Archer Daniels Midland announced it earned $510 million or $0.77 cents per share during the most recent fiscal quarter. That's up from $80 million or $0.12 cents per share during the same period of last year when it was undergoing a restructuring. Excluding certain items, earnings were $0.60 cents per share versus $0.51 cents in the same period of last year. And Kellogg announced that it lost $32 million or $0.09 cents per share versus $195 million or $0.54 cents per share during the same period of last year. Now, not counting a mark to market accounting change, the company earned $0.65 cents per share. That's down from $0.71 cents a year ago. Revenue increased to $3.56 billion from $3.02 billion. And the company reiterated its 2013 outlook, saying it expects earnings growth of 5 to 7 percent and sales growth of about 7 percent. Sprint announced that it lost $1.3 billion during the fourth quarter. That's roughly the same as the period last year. The loss amounted to $0.44 cents per share versus $0.43. Cents, and analysts had expected a loss of $0.46 cents per share. Revenue was $9 billion, which is 3.2% higher than a year ago, and beating expectations of $8.9 billion. The increase was attributed to customers switching to higher-paying smartphone plans. And professional social network LinkedIn announced that profit increased by 66% to $11.5 million or $0.10 cents per share. That's up from $6.9 million or $0.06 cents per share during the same period of last year. Revenue increased to uh, $303.6 million from $167.7 million. The company forecasts that sales during the first quarter should be between $305 and $310 million. This is the Weekly Market Wrap for Friday, February 8th, 2013. Please join us on Monday for the Week Ahead Market Report. For PassFail.com, I'm Kristen Bianco, taking you behind the ticker.